hello friends welcome to figure tutorial and uh, in this tutorial we will convert this drawing into the 3d model with the help of a part design workbench in FreeCAD. you can also visit my website macnexus.com where i write articles and tutorials on FreeCAD. you can download my tutorial source file from the here you can also purchase my FreeCAD crash course for beginner this course I have a design for the beginner user of a free CAD where beginner user can master the free CAD from the scratch if you like my method of teaching then please support me on coffee.com you can buy me a cup of coffee your small support will help this channel to grow and it will motivate me to create more awesome content on free CAD I will provide my website and my Ko-Fi donation page link and my course link in a video descriptions. So let's come back to our tutorial. So here I have activated the part design. I will create a new file and then I create a body and create a sketch. So first we will create this uh, L shape profile and then we will add the material and uh, create the revolve cut. Now I will select this YZ plane now I will select the polyline tool and uh, now I will uh, close the profile <coughs> now I will give the dimensions so this is the 22 so I will select it and give the horizontal dimension of a 22 and uh, 22 after that this uh, R60 so I hope this R60 is uh, somewhere here so now here is it is a 44 given from the center and uh, this is the 52 so if you see here the center is given the 44 44 plus 62 so from this edge we will uh, give the horizontal dimension of uh, 44 plus 60 height is 22 so I will select this line and give the vertical dimension of uh, 22 and uh, this height this height is uh, let's see this is the 22 and uh, this height is a here given is a 67 so I will select this line and give vertical dimension of a 67 so now I will uh, move my dimension now I close it now I will switch to the now I will extrude it to the distance of a 60 so I will click on it and click on it 60 and uh, I will keep it uh, symmetric to the plane now I will say ok and now this is the R60 so I will select the face and uh, create a sketch and I will switch to the isometric and say to the top and now I will uh, select a three point arc and now I will project the geometry now I will make it uh, tangent and uh, now I will select the origin point and this point and uh, make it vertical switch to the wireframe view let's make it horizontal and now this uh, radius is 60 so I will select it and uh, give it 60 and now here I will uh, project these two outer edges and I will make it uh, coincidence and also make it uh, coincidence now 
if you see here this is the tangency so now I will uh, select uh, this uh, line and uh, I will close the profile and now here I will make it a construction and then I take a three point arc and I will make this profile and I close it and now I will uh, switch to the flat lines now I select the sketch click on the pocket tool and from here I will say through all now I will select this pocket tool and click on the mirror and uh, from here I will click on select reference and select this mid plane so you can see that uh, we have made this feature and now we will uh, create this hole so for this I will select the face and create a sketch I will move to the right orientation now here I will uh, create a circle and this circle is of uh, 52 mm and with vertical relation with my origin so I will click on project geometry and click on the vertical dimension and uh, let's click on horizontal and give dimension of uh, 52 and uh, this hole is of a uh, dia 10 so I will select diameter so this is the radius so give the 5 mm I close it select it and uh, just go with the pocket because it is a simple hole so no need to select the whole features and say ok so we have uh, made this feature here now we will select this face and uh, create a sketch and I will rotate my model and let's see the orientation ok so now if you see here so this is the of uh, diameter 55 so I will uh, select the circle and draw a circle and give it a diameter dimension of uh, 55 and now we will find the position so position of this is the 37 so I select it these two points and give the vertical sorry horizontal dimension of 37 say 37 okay. and now if we see here here is a material removal so we will find out the width and so how much is the removed so let's uh, draw the two line now I will uh, make it uh, vertical let's make it uh, horizontal and now let's uh, find out the dimension this dimension so here if you see in a drawing here is a uh, two center is pointed that is the 12 mm so I will select the horizontal dimension sorry vertical and do it 12 mm and same way here LMM and now I will uh, trim the unnecessary geometry and I will come out of the sketch so here we can uh, see it is a given uh, 
75 from this edge from this edge so 75 minus 45 minus 75 minus 45 so I will select the sketch click on the pad so 75 minus 45 still not sure it is the dimension this is the 45 and this is the 12 and this is the 42 so so this dimension is uh, not clearly visible so not given so what we will do we will make approximate to the 20 mm now I will uh, select my origin plane and I will select this uh, mid plane So what we will do here, we will uh, go to the pad of my origin. I thought to remove the material later but that's fine. Uh, we have come ahead. Now we will uh, come to our next feature, select this YZ plane and create a sketch. And now of my origin plane. Now we can see that uh, axis is of uh, 37 mm so what we will do we will uh, draw a line and make it construction and give its uh, position to the thirty seven mm and now we will uh, project this outer edge switch to the wireframe and make it coincidence and now we will uh, select the polyline tool now I will draw my profile and this groove now I will make it a uh, vertical this one vertical so we can see that uh, height is a uh, 37 which we have given and this groove dimension is 11 so let's give the dimension which is available 11 and this groove is a uh, 3 mm so I will select this uh, horizontal and give the 3 mm and uh, now from here it is a given 45 so I will select this two and give the horizontal dimension of 45 now I make uh, this point and this point uh, horizontal now I will uh, close my profile I select this and close to this and this is the 42 so I will select this point and this point and uh, give the vertical dimension of uh, 21 and hope so this angle will be the 45 which is not given so I will give the angle of uh, 45 and uh, this diameter is a 28 so I will select it and give the vertical dimension of uh, 14 and this screw dimension is a uh, diameter is a 25 so I will select this point and this point and I give the vertical dimension let's uh, select this one select this point and this point q 12.5 now I will uh, come out of the sketch switch to the flat lines 
now I will use the revolve tool and from here I will click on select reference I will select this and uh, say ok now here we have initially removed the material on this face in fact when you do this modeling then uh, do this material removal at the end create a circle of a diameter 55 but that's okay now what we will do uh, we will uh, select this face and uh, create a sketch switch to the isometric and now here uh, we will project this outer edge and uh, we will create a three point arc select this point and this point and let's see why it is unconstrained uh, maybe this point okay so I will select this point and this point and uh, say merge and now I will select this two and make it equal so here this point is not merged so I will select this point and deselect it select this point and this point and say merge now I will delete this and I will move it to the let's uh, make it equal okay now I will close the profile by selecting the line tool I will select this point and this point I hope so my profile is fully constrained now I will select the sketch go with the pocket and from here I will say through all let's make it ok so here it is a uh, cutting the material to the shaft so we will go to our pocket not this one uh, this pad I think so let's uh, on the sketch so this uh, distance is not 12 it is uh, more than of that so we will edit the sketch switch to the isometric instead of a 12 let's uh, make it 16 on both the side now close it so this is how it uh, looked like now I will select this pocket and click on the mirror tool and from here I will select reference and I will select the mid plane and say ok now I will switch to the isometric now you are seeing here the edges is not merge so for this we will select our last feature and go to the data tab and here on refines fall say true so you can uh, see that uh, we have uh, successfully converted this uh, drawing into the 3d model with the help of a part design workbench so this tutorial is uh, designed for the beginner user of a free cad those who have just started learning the free cad i will come with a more useful tutorial like this on uh, various type of uh, components like a uh, sheet metal part design and uh, some complex components so this is all about this tutorial i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial if you enjoyed this tutorial then please like subscribe and share my channel and also support me on a coffee.com your small support will help these channels to grow thank you for watching and thank you for your valuable time